My name is Dahlia Liang Moore. I'm going to do an unboxing and finished jewelry for the curated bead box for the month of February 2022 celebration. I'm not being paid to make this video. I love the curated bead box and I'd like to share that with you. The curated bead box is a monthly subscription of beads and findings with a curated theme different each month for a affordable price of $20 a month, including shipping in the USA. A beautiful box is shipped to your door with beautiful beads and findings inside. I am a beginner beader. I started beading in July of 2021. So it's been about six months and I'm really enjoying my experience. The curated bead box is perfect for the beginner beader. It consistently comes with 11, 12 to up to 16 strands of beads in all different shapes, colors, and sizes. For myself, I am making jewelry at the very basic beginner's level and I feel that the curated bead box provides me with the materials that I need to create jewelry at the comfort of my own level. The curated bead box is very predictable. Every month you get your glass pearl beads, you get some marble style beads, some jade style glass beads, and the beginner findings kit is extremely helpful for somebody who, like myself, hasn't built up a big collection of tools and supplies. If you're a beginner like myself, you will find that the curated bead box is a source of inspiration every month and you will find beautiful beads to make jewelry with at the comfort of your own level. Here is a picture of the beads inside. Here is the, the listing of items that are contained inside the box. And here are the product codes. If you like any of the strands, you could order more through the dollarbeat.com, which is the affiliated store to curated bead box. Okay. These are very celebratory colors. They're very pretty. They're colorful because the theme is celebration. And it looks like they have natural gemstones and long strands. Milky Shimmer Strands. The first item is an 8 inch strand of 12 millimeter coral glass pearl bead. So the color is coral. These are glass pearl beads. They look like pearls. They are 12 millimeters. The holes are pretty evenly coated. I don't see any chipped holes. Let me put them to the test. So each of these beads has a good weight okay let's look at the holes all right yeah it's very well coated right it's pretty good here you go here's the hole and i'm trying to chip it away chip away the coating and it's not coming off very beautiful okay. the second item is an eight inch strand of 12 millimeter apple green glass pearl beads. The color is apple green. The material is glass. It looks like pearls, so they call it pearl glass beads. The dimensions are 12 millimeters. The coating is very evenly coated. I don't see any chipping away of the coating at the holes. Put it to the test. All right, so let's see. Yeah. yeah it's, it's well coated. Yeah, it's pretty good quality. Um, the paint seems like it's a very thick coat of paint and it's not going to come off. See, looks like the coating is not coming off. I mean, eventually it will, right, with wear and tear, but right now it's not coming off even with my fingernails scratching at it really hard, right? So I think that these are good quality beads. 
The next item is an 8 inch strand of 10 millimeter salmon rustic glass pearl beads. The material is glass. The color is salmon. They are calling it rustic, I think because of the little rough texture. It's kind of shiny, so I don't agree that something that is shiny should be called rustic. But I think that what they meant by rustic is the little rough texture in here. Okay, here you are. Let me see the coating. Pretty good. Wow. And, yep, I think it's a thick coat of paint. Well coated. Okay, there you go. The next item is a six inch strand of 10 millimeter celebration abstract glass beads. I love this strand. Look at how beautiful they are. Abstract celebration be beads. Well, yes, I agree with the name. It is definitely a celebratory color. And let's see. Let me see if I could, uh, I could scratch some paint off, okay? Let me see. Okay. All right, so, all right. So uh, this is a six inch strand, so they didn't give us too many. The white is the color of the clear or milky glass that this bead is made of. And the coating is what's giving it the color and the splashes of shine and all that. So let me see how well coated it is, okay? Well, I think it's very well coated, you see? I'm scratching it here, and it's not coming off, and I'm a pretty hard scratcher. I'm like, scratch, scratch, and it's not coming off. Let's try another one, huh? right? So you see the milky white inside, which is the color of the glass, and let's see if I can scratch some paint off. No, it's staying put, see? The paint is staying put. Even with my scratching it very hard, is the paint is not coming off, right? So these are very durable beads. These will last you for a long time with the shine and the nice, rich, bright yellow. These beads are durable beads. The next strand is a 10 and a half inch strand of eight millimeter deep Unakai duo style glass beads. So these are glass beads, but they are calling it Unakite duo style. So I think duo style means that there are two colors blending in. So there is the green, which more or less dominates the beads. And then there is the pattern of a little blood red pattern. So called duo style. I think what they mean duo style is that these are glass beads that are made to resemble unakite. Unakite is a gemstone found in nature. And glass beads are man-made. I think it's very precious. It's a beautiful strand. Okay, so let's put this unikite looking glasses to the test, okay? Let's see. All right, see? You definitely see the clear milky color of the glass. Now let me see if I could chip away the paint. Okay, nope. Nope. See? My hands are working hands. I've worked all my life. Th these hands, when they want to put you to the test, they really truly put you to the test. So I think it's very well coated. You know, I don't think it's gonna chip away for a long time. The next item is a 13 inch strand of eight millimeter milky white faceted semi-opaque glass beads. Okay, so it is 13 inches long. The bead is milky white faceted semi-opaque. 
and it's eight millimeters. I'm thinking of little light blues and little star charms and moon charms and sparkles. You know, I keep scratching it and I can't even see a scratch. See, these beads, I can tell, are very well made, right? The next item is a seven inch strand of eight millimeter green adventuring gemstone beads. So this is a real gemstone. It's called adventuring. It's not expensive, but it's more expensive than glass beads. Some of these adventurines are polished, but some were not. So these was partially polished and then the rest wasn't polished. Let's look closely. Okay. All right, so these two are polished, right? It's a gemstone, adventurine, and these are polished. Now let's compare the polished ones to the ones that are not polished, see? So these are not polished. You see the rough texture of the stone, right? Right, this bit was partially polished and then the rest was not polished. So I think over time, like everything, the polish will wear off too. I'm not complaining, I just want you to see the difference between a polished gemstone and an unpolished gemstone in its natural form. The next item is a seven inch strand of eight millimeter pale green gemstone bead. So these are gemstones. It's not telling us what kind of gemstones. They're pale green. This looks like eight inches to me and it's eight millimeters. And let's see. Okay. Okay, so here we are. All right. This is very nice. See? These are all polished. I don't see... Oh, this is partially... This is not polished. So, you, so okay. Right, I'm going to show you the difference between a stone that's polished and one that is not polished, okay? So this is the same stone, green, pale green gemstone. This stone has been polished. You can see there's a little shine to it, okay? This stone has not been polished. And it's just like a round and rough kind of stone, but you, you could feel it and it's a stone. You could feel the rough texture, right, of the stone, but here it's smooth, okay? And it has a shine to it, see? So I just want to show you the difference between a polished gemstone and an unpolished gemstone in its natural state. So this is it. This is not polished, and this is polished, okay? The next item is a nine inch strand of a six times one millimeter green vinyl disc bead. We got a purple vinyl disc bead in our last box, and now we are getting a green vinyl disc bead. Okay, I'm actually liking this. They are kind of tiny, one millimeter width, six millimeter in diameter. Let's see how well they do on a bowl. This little disc bead, they are tiny. You can bend it. See, you could just bend it, right? There. Yeah. I mean, let's see how this look next to something else. Let's see, I want to put this next to here. Did it kind of go together? A little bit, right? Let's see if I put it next to something green. Let's see. Does it kind of go together? Kind of blend in? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. The next item is an eight inch strand of four millimeter glass pearl beads. They are four millimeters in diameter and this is a generous 16 inch strand. They are a very bright green. Let's see what happens when they are loose. So 
So that's a lot of beads right here. Okay, let's see the little hole. Yeah, I think all the holes are intact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of beads here. It's beautiful. The next item is another 16 inch strand of four millimeter grass green crackle glass beads. So these are crackle glass beads. You can see that there is a little explosion inside each bead, making it shiny, okay? So inside of the bead seems like there's crack, but they do it on purpose so that they could produce a shine from the inside. It is a 16 inch strand. It's four millimeters in diameter and it's a sea green. So this is like a fiesta green, right? And this is more like a sea green, I think. But let's put it in a bowl. Let's see how they look inside a bowl. All right. Okay. Yeah. They are all the same size, the same shape. Yeah. This almost looks like seed beads to me. Yeah. All right. So these are rhinestone gold tone spacer beads. Mm -hmm. And next we have a bag of findings. Lobster claw clasp. We get four of them in gold tone. Earring hooks, okay? They're two inch long head pins. 12 jump rings. We get crimp beads. We get memory wire for making memory wire bracelets. We get beading wire for stringing beads. And lastly, we get stretch cord for making stretch bracelets. Okay. Don't forget this. And don't forget this. Okay. I am going to attempt to make some jewelry with all of these beautiful beads and stay tuned for the finished jewelry segment of this video. A co-worker of mine suggested that I make jewelry for children. And when I saw the apple green and the coral colors, I thought about jewelry for children. So I made three stretch bracelets. They are strung on a stretch cord. I added some spacer beads in between. So I used a light rose gold tone to go with the apple green. The coral color is very strong. So I wanted to tone down the strong color and I used a silver tone spacer beads. And here are the leftover beads from these two strands that came in the curated bead box. So I put them together and used gold tone spacer beads and made a third stretch bracelet. And these three go together as a set. You could wear it like this as a set, or these two as a set, or these two as a set or all three of them together. I think all three of them together might be a little much, but I think these two go together very well. And I think it would be a lot, a lot of fun if these two go together like this or like this. I am going to give this set away to that coworker of mine who suggested that I make jewelry for children. She likes my jewelry and I am so gratified when people find my jewelry pleasing to them. 
not just pleasing to them, but worthy for their children. I made two bracelets using the natural gemstones that came in the curated bead box. These are the pale green natural gemstones. The curated bead box this month didn't specify what kind of stones these are, but I think these are just natural rocks that are milky white kind of color. It is not dyed because you can see the very natural pattern of the rocks, right? I used a nylon cord and I hand knotted each knot. By itself, the strand of white gemstones didn't look like it had a lot to offer. Kind of boring looking almost. You know, but when I hand knotted each pearl with a brown nylon cord, it gave it a little kind of rough and tumble and rugged kind of look that goes very well with the natural gemstones. This is just the button that I found in my sewing kit. Because this is just a nylon cord, I was worried that it would kind of come apart. So I coated it with a little glue to make sure that this will be durable. Um, so these are just, you know, hand knots. I added a dab of glue to secure the knot to give it a little touch of cuteness. I just added two little dangles using the same stones. This is a double strand and these are hand knots. This is a very unassuming button. It has a, a little rugged look, but with a, a, with, with a touch of cuteness here. You know, the button is cute enough and the little dangles here are kind of cute. I really like how it turned out. So let me, let me put it on for you. Okay. It is unisex, so uh, men or women can wear them. And I made it large enough for men to wear them too. I'm a large size lady and this is a little bit larger than I would have made for myself because a man could wear this. See, I really like how it, this turned out. This is the second strand of gemstones that came in the box and these are called aventurine. Some of these uh, beads from the strand did not come polished. So, so like these are not completely polished. Like, and I talked about that in my unboxing, like this is only partially polished. I don't think that they intentionally make it that way. I think that it just happened that, um, you know, when the machine is doing the polishing, some of these beads got in the wrong spot and they didn't get the polish on them. Um, but I kind of used that to my advantage. These hand knots are kind of rough and tumble, rugged looking hand knots. So they kind of go perfectly with these rough and tumble, rugged kind of beads, right? This button, I just got it from my sewing kit. To add a little dab of cuteness, I added a little dango here. I cut the nylon cord too short and I didn't have enough cord to make a knot. So I had to end it with a crimp and add a crimp cover. I am always trying to be conscientious at not wasting materials, but sometimes out of my conscientiousness, I kind of overdo it and I'm always short <laughs> of cord. And it's my mistake. I need to get it over with and be okay with wasting a little cord or a little materials here and there, right? I think it turned out really good. This is a black colored nylon cord. It's one millimeter. I use a double strand of nylon cord and these are just hand tied knots. And I think that overall it had that uh, rugged good look to it. Don't you agree? And this is unisex. So there you go. See, I'm really pleased at how it turned out. I think a gentleman might be interested in this, right? Or a gentle lady, right? I would wear it. This is a memory wire bracelet that I made with the rustic pearl beads that came in the curated bead box. Only the pink 
came with it in this month's box. The gold and the green came in boxes from previous month. I found them to be the same size and the colors kind of go together very well with the theme of celebration, which is the theme of this month. I used the Coil Buddy Precision tool and I made a stretch bracelet. And at the end, I just added these two little dangles. I don't think the dangles are necessary. I think that this is enough color, but you could take this out. So anybody that doesn't like these dangles can just take it out. Or if they like it, you know, just, just for the sake of having something to dangle with, I think that it turned out really well. So. Let me put it on for you. It's a little hard to put this on. You have to be patient. It kind of goes like this. All right. So there you go. It, I think it turned out really well. It is very apt for celebration, the theme of this month. While I was in the mood for making memory wire bracelets, I made this using beads from the January 2022 curated bead box. These are the little planet beads. These are the marble style glass beads. These beads came in the February 2022 box. These are the milky white beads. These seed beads came from the December 2021 um, month's box. Again, I used the Coil Buddy Precision tool to make this design. It is a little flimsy. It, it's, it's not as precise as I had hoped. I had hoped for it to have the look of a planet. You know what I mean? Like, like a planet, right? But if I hold it like this, you can see that this does look like a planet, right? But if I don't hold it, and it kind of goes like that, and it just doesn't it kind of falls apart. The design will fall apart. I did make this to be a large size so that I could wear because a planet has got to be large. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, okay.